Okay, this one is me getting quite a bit of play on, on the internet. Hopefully this picture shows it well. If not, I will describe the, the two t-shirts. The one for the Elite of the Bullet Club, which you can find on, I think, ProWrestlingTees.com. Uh, by all means, these are not my images that I've just taken pictures from and just used it that way. So as you can tell, it is the Young Bucks and the Cleaner, Kenny Omega, who are the elite of the Bullet Club. That way, in case Bullet Club gets taken over or Baylor Club and they try to take after the, the Bullet Club, that they can be referred as the elite. As you can tell, they are you know, looking at that. It, it's hard to tell if it's just a regular deer or if it's a reindeer. So I'm trying to see there's something up with the nasal area. Or if it's actually just they're riding the buck. My first thought is it's a reindeer. And it looks like they were trying to go for a hint of a red nose. So they're, they're on top of Rudolph, who is on what looks like a flying stack of money. Flying through space with money everywhere. While, of course, Kenny the Cleaner, you can tell he's got the he's got that nice, oh, he's got a broom with him. Now, I would contrast that with what's the New Day shirt. This, of course, WShop.com. And they are riding a unicorn. Not just a unicorn, though. If you notice closely, that unicorn is blind. It is a blind unicorn. Hence the glass that's at. It is a buck tooth blind unicorn who is rocking a single, it looks kind of like a, like old school Converse. And if you look closely, got a fishtail. And they, of course, are riding that blind buck tooth unicorn with shoes and a fishtail on a rainbow in space. So we'll just start there. <clears throat> so if you don't know anything about the Elite of Bullet Club, why is clear in this video? I know you probably saw like those pictures look awesome. I gotta figure out what's going on with that. <clears throat> the Bullet Club is pretty much this wickedly awesome stable that was created in New Japan which had a Prince Devitt, a Fergal Devitt, or Finn Balor, depending on where you know him from, pretty much made an awesome heel stable. And <clears throat> throughout time, it became a big group. And as it got too big, members would fall away. And after a while, Kenny Omega kind of helped clean Bullet Club, and now he's got himself the elite. Now the Young Bucks are pretty much, they are the super kickers. That's it. They are the masters of the super kick. They've super kicked children and the elderly. They've super kicked people at like house parties. If you've ever seen the match, you're like, that's a lot of super kicks. You might have seen the Young Bucks in the match. They're very much like the Hardy Boys meet the Rockers. So that sort of high flying attitude with super kicks everywhere. But the New Day originally started as this really bad, Vince has no idea what to do with black people sort of group, try to make them kind of Southern baptist -y. And once they were able to get kind of going, they were able to really, really easily take over and make these really impressive, awesome promos, which later, of course, led to them rocking unicorn horns. So I do these fights differently because I can't do energy projection. Well, I could in Kenny because he does the Hadouken and an EX Hadouken, which is even stronger Hadouken. So it is differently. Like strength, speed, endurance, toughness, striking, uh, grappling, submissions, high flying, over with the crowd, ring psychology, and mic work. So we'll get right into this. Now, <clears throat> strength, none of these guys are really big, but you got a power lift around the new day. When it comes to speed, I'll be honest, man, you've got a bunch of small guys. First, the team that's got two smaller guys and a really big guy. And the young bucks are just ridiculously fast. Endurance, this one, since I get two entirely different styles, I'm thinking more from like a cardio standpoint. The the young bucks, being these really small kind of wiry guys, have ridiculous amounts of cardio. These guys are not going to get tired. Those guys are going to quite easily make a match go for a very, very long time. Toughness, again, I'm looking at two different styles. The Japanese style is there's a lot of striking to it. And you're going to have these much more physically intense and demanding matches. And I started thinking some of this stuff through, and I was like, well, from a toughness standpoint, the most wicked move that I think I've seen either team pull off successfully 
ends up being Big E throwing his body through the middle ropes to spear somebody to the outside in a move that, reminiscent to Edge putting Mick Foley through the flaming table at WrestleMania, is a wicked spot. And I'll be honest, Big E can take a freaking beating. So, off the physical attributes, they're tied up. I do think that given the, the size of, and by size I mean just the overall mass, because all these guys are about 5'11", well, the Young Bucks are a little bit on the smaller side, but pretty much all of New Day is 5'11", 5'10", 6 foot. So they're all like with one inch of each other. But you've got Big E who's 280. Just a massive hulking individual. And versus the speed and endurance, I definitely have my the elite of the Bullet Club. Because the Bullet Club, which fights up is great, they are the elite of the Bullet Club. They are the cream of the cream of the crop. Striking. With this, it was, you know, I've got super kicks and a Hadouken. That's, I'm sorry, when you've got a guy who's whipping out, whipping a Hadouken, that's kind of the you kind of have to go. <clears throat> so you have it. Trouble in Paradise, Honor Roll, comparing that versus super kicks everywhere, two styles of Hadouken. I think now he's using uh, the Boname knee. I probably butchered that. I did. I'm sorry. Gaijin. So, grappling. Really great array of suplexes on both sides. But I'm going to go with the way that they're currently doing one of their, their finishes with the New Day. The, the tag team big ending is an amazing looking move. Now we're looking at submissions. Neither team has a true submission finisher, quote unquote. So the best thing I can go with with the one that's actually the most impressive and one of their true wheelhouse moves is actually the abdominal stretch that you see Big E do when he's actually slapping the guy to the New Day Rocks bit. High flying. Xavier Woods, you'd think given his bike up he'd be a high flyer, but really he's not. So yeah, Kofi is your high flyer versus the Young Bucks is high flyers. Kenny Omega also is known for, for leaving his feet. So, pretty easy there. Over with the crowd, th this one's going to be a bit on the difficult side, predominantly because I'm looking at two vastly different crowds. If I put this in full sale, and if the Bullet Club shows up, the place is going to explode. If I put them in a less smarky crowd, New Day gets a bit of a pop, depending on area, but with a smarky crowd, good money goes into being on, on the elite. Ring psychology. How good are they when it comes to keeping the crowd going, getting everything into it? All I gotta say is Francesca. The fact that the New Day have figured out how to get a trombone over and use that to really kind of get the crowd into it, as well as a move called the Unicorn Stampede. People actually buy freaking unicorn horns because they can make it work because the ring psychology is actually really good. Now, that's not might work. Kenny Omega, I think out of these six guys, is amazing on the mic. The Young Bucks, not so good. New Day, when they keep it tight, their mic work is freaking amazing. So I'm going to give the final nod mic work to your inevitable winners of the Elite of the Bullet Club versus the New Day. The New Day. And this is one of the, the canvas to canvas ones that you, of course, can get on shop.com.